So here we go on CSBK and live on the PA here at Shannonville Motorsport Park for the first round of the Mopar Canadian Superbike Championships for 2012. I'm here with Norm Wells from BMW Motorrad Canada. These are the guys that put Brett McCormick on a BMW last year. And I must say, Norm, right off the bat that a number of people have asked me, where's the BMW factory team? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, with uh, more and more factories pulling out of the series, uh, we decided that it wouldn't make any sense to have a factory team up against all the privateers. So we opted to, uh, you know, take the money that we were spending on Superbike and putting it back into the series and, and having you know, good programs for riders to get the motorcycles and great contingency programs. So I think, and I can see it now on the grid. You know, there's 10 of the 20 or BMWs. It'd be nice to see if you know the other manufacturers stepped up and started promoting it as well. But you know, we think it would, uh, it's been a success for us. You know, obviously, you certainly wouldn't be happy with a spec class BMW Superbikes. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's all about competition. You want to prove yourself against the others. So, you know, beating yourself doesn't really do much. Right on. Well, like it was commented, you know, if you if you want to support a factory team, the first thing you got to do is sell some motorcycles to be able to pay for it. And I'll tell you what, the BMW dealers are certainly selling motorcycles nowadays. Yeah, you know, the brand's been on a great high over the last 10 years when we uh, went in a new direction, you know, lighter, more powerful, and, and uh, a lot more dynamic. So, yeah, the brand's come alive, and, and by uh, selling that many more bikes, we've been able to do this kind of uh, activity. I feel obliged to uh, remind fans that uh, Brett McCormick's number one plate last year was not the first number one plate for BMW in racing, and was, in fact, Michael Taylor who gave you guys the uh, number one plate in Canadian Thunder when he beat up on all the Ducatis and Buells. Yeah, you know, that, that, was a, that was an exciting time for us there as well, because it was a lot more grassroots racing. We were all pants up to our elbows in Greece doing all the work and uh, it was just a lot of fun, you know, a couple of years working on it and then uh, getting a number one plate for a BMW for the first time was very exciting. I'm glad you put it that way, Norm, because uh, the, my next statement to you, it must be nice to come to the racetrack uh, with clean hands and, and be able to sit back and maybe have a cool one later on, something that you weren't able to do over the last couple of years. That's what I was just telling my wife on the way up that it was kind of odd coming in on a Sunday and just kind of walking around <laughs> with clean fingernails and uh, looking forward to watching the race from the stands with a beer. Well, it sure is good to see you back at the racetrack again. Of course, we're keeping track of you on uh, David Hatcher's uh, TV show, Motorcycle Experience. And, uh, and uh, thanks for coming out to the races. And thank you so much for putting that program together that has swelled our Superbike grid. As you may well know, we have something like 22 or 23 Superbikes this day. Yeah, it's great. And uh, thanks to all the riders and thanks to all the fans. And uh, we just love being out here doing this. Norm Wells from BMW Motorrad Canada, the former manager of the Radex uh, Superbike team. This is the man that sent Brett McCormick to Europe.